The South St. Paul Police Chief is crediting good police work for the capture of men who they believe killed a man this morning and seriously wounded another. It happened in South St. Paul on 17th Avenue. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield has more on the city's second homicide of the year. South St. Paul is where Brian Redner grew up, a hockey kid in the 80s. He recently moved to 17th Avenue near where he grew up, a place that's now a crime scene. It's been a weird morning. Um, you know, I, I don't, it's, I'm still trying to wrap my brain around it. Brian was resting around 4 o'clock this morning, enjoying his quiet neighborhood when he heard what he thought was a gunshot. I just kind of, you know, just dismissed it as not, you know, not around here type of thing. And then I heard like three or four more shots and those were closer. Brian says when he looked out the window, he saw the suspected shooter run quickly down the street. That's when I heard uh, somebody screaming for help up here. So I grabbed my phone, went over there, um, you know, I called 911. And we we're just trying to, you know, talk to the guy to tell him, you know, help's on the way. South St. Paul police showed up and found another shooting victim on a nearby sidewalk. It's a very chaotic scene, and obviously you've got uh, you got victims there, and and then you're also trying to locate a suspect. So it's a it's a lot to handle for a smaller department like ours. But with the help from other agencies, they handled it, catching the suspect three hours later at a hotel on the other side of town. Chief says one victim died at the scene; the other is stable. He says the suspected victims didn't know each other, so it wasn't random, but it was tragic. Somebody loves them. Yeah, somebody's, you know, going to be, you know, fatherless, sonless, something. It's just, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. In South St. Paul, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, 4 News.